What if you could remove the background to your video in just a couple of clicks? Goodbye, Rotobrush Tool. See you later, masking. Ciao, ciao, green screen. I've been shooting a superhero TV series and I've grown to hate green screens, masking, and rotobrushing. Literally just taking too much time. So I started searching for an AI tool that could do this for me. I tried VDIO, Descript, and Runway. All of them pretty bad. Then I remembered seeing this thumbnail, The Roto Killer. It was this video by Big Films and they introduced me to an After Effects plugin called Mask Prompter. If you're using After Effects, forget rotobrush because today I'm going to be showing you this new plugin called Mask Prompter. It uses AI and it's so much faster than rotobrush. It's as simple as this. I've never used an After Effects plugin before, so I was a little nervous. I saw the price of $50 and I almost just gave up. But then I saw that you could try it for free. So I downloaded it onto my Mac, I followed the prompts to install it, and it was taking a while. I didn't know if it was actually going to work, so I went back to rotobrushing my subject. Then I remembered why I hated Rotobrush so much because it was super tedious and time consuming. <laughs> I went back to check on the application and boom, it was done. So I searched for Mass Prompter in After Effects and I couldn't find it. So I closed After Effects, restarted it, and behold, it was there. So I dragged it onto my clip. All you do is you select this rectangle tool and you create a box around your subject. Then you go to the path option, change the output mode down here to transparent, and that's it. That would have taken me like an hour using the Rotobrush tool and you could do it in seconds. Of all the AI tools I've tested, this one always gave the best results. Here's a couple of bonus tips. If you need to animate the mask, press M on your keyboard, then click the stopwatch icon to set your initial keyframe. Then go to the end of the clip and adjust your mask. You can enhance the edges by using the edges enhancement. Experiment with different settings like medium or high. The smaller it is, the sharper the edges will look. I found that by applying two effects, it really cleans up your mask. The first one is key cleaner. The default settings work great. The other one is Refine Hard Mask. Set your feather, contrast, and reduce chatter to zero and deselect motion blur. If you have a subject that moves a lot, use the point method instead of the rectangles tool. All you do is you just click on these points and select your subject. It will automatically remove their background and you can create as many of these points as needed and adjust their position to select your subject. The free version of this software puts these lines on your image. Because of how much time this is saving me, I went back to the site, added it to my cart, proceeded to checkout, and created a free account. You have to prove that you're not human. Select all the red pandas. Wait, is that a wolf or a panda in space? I don't know. It's black and white. What is that? Timon? I don't think he's a panda. All right, uh, maybe. Booyah. Then I just put in my credit card. I went to my email and had to confirm my account. It will take you to your downloads page. What you need to find is your license key. At first, mine didn't appear. I clicked the info button and refreshed the page and it appeared for me. Then we went back to After Effects and in the settings for Mask Prompter, I clicked the register button and I pasted the license in there. And you're done.